Right, we have just arrived in Port Stewart Golf Club. It's day two of our little trip to Ireland, but this is a special day because we're about to meet literally a golfing legend. Who are we meeting? We are meeting this man. Turn the shoulder, turn the shoulder and move the weight. It's so, look at that. When you hit him like that, you, this is how you walk to the next <laughs> <laughs> Playing in, in Texas, in, in Kentucky, in America, and I win the tournament three times in a row. So now I go to the press. <laughs> the guy says to me, "You be driving the ball better. What's what do you like about your driver?" I said, "Well, the grip, this, the kick point is here. I've got it set with a slight draw. It's flatter, etc." And I said, "I did say that." I said, "And there are 40 press guys here." If I had to choose between this club and my wife, I'd miss her. The next day, headlines in the paper. <laughs> so I go to the gym and I come back and my wife hiding in the cupboard and I walk in the bedroom and there's my driver on the bed. No. The <laughs> <laughs> the <next> <laughs> <laughs> With a note, you've chosen your new mate. May you hit it long and straight. Maybe I won't be at the gate. <laughs> we, are trying, we are inclined to get paralysis of analysis with golf because it's you know there's never been a swing takes one second from there there probably been two million words written about that one second think about it i'm staying at a place up the road here and there's an old book the man must have written 60 years ago and i'm listening to the things he wrote about the swing fascinating what the, the things that have been written and the coaches that are teaching a lot of guys are going to coaches and having their swings ruined. Let's take the, who, a man who was going to be, may still be, but not yet, it's not done yet, who's going to be the greatest player that ever lived. I mean, Tiger Woods. Here's a man who wins all those majors and then doesn't win a major from, for 11 years. Now when he comes back, he goes to coaches and his swing was perfect. He won the US Open by 15 shots, not five, 15. You think if he, if he left his swing and never had a lesson, he would have won 22 majors. No question. At least. Now he goes to guys who really would struggle to break 85 at Augusta, the Masters, and has lessons from them. And doesn't win for 11 years. So the swing, you've got to be very careful who you go to for a lesson. How many great teachers are there? Oh, that's debatable. <laughs> I mean, here was a guy that was just so good, he was so good, why on earth would he be going and having a lesson? Probably because the human being always wants to be a little better. But if I'm going to go and ask for a business arrangement, I'm going to go to a man who's a top businessman. I'm not going to a caddy. And so you've got to be very careful who you have a lesson with. My point is when you exercise a certain muscle, how you make that muscle strong. And this is what guys are doing with golf now. They're exercising the muscles to make them strong and still have speed. You don't want to be doing too many, I don't think, but maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. But you don't want to do too many bench presses where you get too big here. You want to keep this as kind of flat, but you want to build strong arms. And here, that's, that's where you've got to be strong, because you hit the ball with this. This is your power base there, see, right there. You go back, now from there your weight just, you see how the weight's going forward? Just watch how the weight moves forward as I hit this ball. Look how I'm standing, look how I'm standing with all my weight on my left side and on my right toe. You've got to be on the toe to make the dough. <laughs> if you finish flat, you're in on the mat. Perfectly remember, I didn't want to hang back Every shot I was hitting is doing like this. Driver, everything, move forward. Now this is a six iron. Now this is why I'll show you why PXG golf clubs are so good. You must excuse me if I don't hit the ball well to start with because I'm not exactly warmed up and we warm up for an hour. But watch this, this is a six iron. It's so straight, I've got to lead over sideways to see the plan. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, you want to hit a high shot. Now, in my prime, I don't want to talk before I'm ready, but watch the height of this now. Watch this. Now, 
there's a normal height okay that I would say that's on the lowest side right now you play a green that's hard or you're playing a shot downwind on a links golf course and you want the ball to stop look at that you take this club I'm doing it a bit early put it in the divot like that now that uh, you couldn't hit an iron out of there now you chop this out Really, it's, uh, they're amazing. You want to hit the ball when the flag's on the left side of the green? Too much. But you, what I'm trying to tell you, when the ball's on the left side of the green, you've got to hit the ball with a little draw. See that? You don't aim at the flag. You'll never see any pro. Well, let me rephrase that. You'll see very few pros trying to hit the ball straight. Because if you hit the ball straight, it's a fluke. You can stand here and hit 10 balls right to left, and you can hit a 10 to left. Now, there's a slight right to left wind here, so this will be pretty straight. Without a wind, this would be a fade. So the flag's on the right side of the green. Yeah, that's cutting. Ah, uh, this, yeah. Even into that wind. So, guys can do that that's something that will really there are two things that today that I'm going to tell you that is really going to help your golf and that's if you can move your weight forward and the other thing when you're putting this I know you can't do that you take a ball and you put a little black dot on the ball and you place the ball on the green before you put it that's where you put the dot because that's where you hit the ball you don't hit the ball there or there there and when you putt, you see your putter hit that black dot and then look up. You watch Tiger Woods on a five foot putt like this. He just moves his eyes a little bit like that. But all of you guys, every one of you go. And when you do that, look what happens to the putter. Watch. When I move, when I look, when I move my head, look what happens to the putter. You're gone. I never ever see a putt in a tournament a five foot go in the hole. I just listen. It's so hard to do, it's unbelievable because you're so anxious. One year I had a six footer to win the Masters and I hit it like that. Didn't even look and I could hear it go in. That's such a, a relief. And it gives you good timing. You see, if you move your head, you hit early. You hit over from, you start hitting from there. But if you watch that ball, you accelerate at the right time. So if we can get those two things done today without giving you paralysis of analysis, <laughs> that'll be a help. Okay, now this time, I'm going to get a little more clubhead speed. I'm going to move my weight. You see how much more clubhead speed there was there? There I moved my weight hard. So here's a driver now. Similar move, okay, just watch. All I'm, I'm thinking about is just moving that weight forward. Now that's the flight I like. Of course the range ball doesn't go. But look how I'm standing. Look at all my weight. Look at my right here. The whole lot. If you finish there, often when you had a bad shot, just look down at your legs and you'll see that. That means your weight's on your right side. You've got to be entirely on your right, right toe. Okay, if you want some proper balls for a driver. Yeah, let me have a, a decent ball. Okay. Just give me a minute. Watch how all that weight. Now we'll talk a little bit about the back swing in a minute, but I'm gonna get my weight across here. There. 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 That's better. One thing about this PXG driver, I've never had a driver where the ball <laughs> rolls so much when it hits the ground, and that's what we want. And look at the technology, just look, look at the technology of this club. Lawrence here can take this club with this little screw here, with all these screws here, and he can make me hit a fade every single time, just by doing that. Or he can adjust the, the loft, higher or lower. It's actually, I never thought I'd ever live to see this. Ben Hogan, who was the best player I ever saw, in 1969 he said to me, walking up the 18th hole, 
but he was a man who said very few words, very few. In fact, if, I'm going to digress for a minute. The first US Open I when I played with him, I played it, not one, finished second. I walked on that tee, I said, morning, Mr. Hogan. Morning, fella. <laughs> the next day, he said, after 36 holes, played, well played, son. He said, five words in 36 holes. Somebody said, why was he so talkative? <laughs> <laughs> so, but he said, one day, Sorry. we'll be playing with different shafts, different metals. Balls will go further. And I went into lunch and I said to this guy, this friend of mine, I said, I've never heard such rubbish being spoken this morning. But he was so right. He could see that into the future. And where we're going, where we're going, I don't know. I think the game of golf is going to be ruined. They can, a guy like Kepka already could, could drive, he can drive eight greens at St. Andrews. On a calm day, he can drive eight greens at St. Andrews. So where are we going? You're going to have to slow the ball back for the pro, not for you guys. You guys should be able to use anything you like to have fun. Don't stop you guys from using this putter because some guys have got the yip so badly they can't putt at all. They can't hold a putt from here. I've got a friend who cannot hold a putt from there. In fact, most of the times he three putt from me. <laughs> so he puts this here now, and now he can putt. So what do you want to stop him playing for? You want him to have fun. But for pros, no anchoring. No anchoring. The one thing you've got to do is avoid paralysis of analysis. Don't chop and change your swing. Just two things. And over the 70 years I worked out what are the two things that you've got to do? And you hear all kinds of things, but if you turn that left shoulder, there, you get a nice turn. You move that weight forward, the club comes back, back on the inside. You never want the club to come outside. Everything in golf outside. This is the danger of golf. Everything outside there is the cancer of golf. So when you hear everything must happen this side, so you go back, you turn your shoulder, look how the club didn't go out, didn't go there, it didn't go there. Watch when I turn my shoulder away. See that? Came on the inside. Now, there, now, watch it happen. As you move your weight forward, look where the club's dropping to. Watch. Go back, watch that. Drops to the inside. You get this kind of swing, there, which 50% of golfers do. They all hit, once you go on the outside, you've had it. So that's why you turn, you turn the left shoulder, you're on the inside, you move that forward, your club drops to the inside. And then you feel, you get a feeling, now I'm getting complicated, which I didn't want to do. I'm giving you paralysis of analysis. <laughs> now from there, you move forward, your clubs drop to the inside, so you feel as though you're hitting the inside of the ball. When you get there and you do that, you're hitting the outside of the ball. That's when you hook and slice both times. So, the thing is this, you've got to have a great, the things that win golf tournaments is a great mind and a great short game. These pros this week will maybe hit, maybe hit nine drivers around, but they'll have 30 putts around. So it's three times as important to putt well as to drive well. And people, I watched Tiger Woods play a tournament in Hawaii, hit one fairway, shot 63. Phil Mickelson hardly ever hits a fairway. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, has, they, he and Tiger, Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson were the two worst drivers of superstars that I saw in my life, according to the stats. But they were one and two, because their short game is so great. But I was a young guy, if you want to improve your handicap, don't stand here and hit drives. Stand here and hit short game. You see, you've got to be able to, you've got to be able to practice, you've got to be able to practice to train your hands to be smart. Now, any of this little chip here, you see how low that went? Now, at the same time, the next time, you try and hit a high one, you see? You stand here, hit a high one. So what you've done now, you've, your hands have done the complete opposite. And that's what you've got to do, is you've got to train yourself there's a method in how you practice and it, if you, it's like when I'm practicing at a tournament I don't stand there and hit to that hundred yard marker with a driver I'll hit out there because then I'm practicing lining up then I'll go to extreme left the 125 because you're practicing your lineup as well not just hitting a ball so you've got to vary it now sometimes you're on the edge of the green you hit this little shot here see that when you've got rough here 
and you've got rough, and you've got a tough fly, just hit it in the gut with this, like a, just like a putter. You don't hit any hard, any harder. So all these little shots that are stroke savers, but the one thing about this shot, hitting a high shot, you've got everybody, don't hit it high unless you have to. You hit it high, it makes you cry. You hit it low, it makes the dough. <laughs> if you have a choice, hit it on the ground, take a putter, hit it on the ground. Don't hit it high unless you have to. But when you're hitting it high, watch the little bit of acceleration there. It's a little high shot, but you see the acceleration and the divot. Everybody goes. Sure. What do you think of that, mate? Tell you what, mate, my arms, I kind of... So this is Gary Player's practice club in terms of generating what, club head speed? It's like his warm-up kind of training aid, isn't it? You wouldn't believe, the, what do you reckon is in that 15 kilo? Oh, 15 to 20. Yeah. We both had a go, haven't we? Oh, seriously, I can't even... I he's can't. 84, and there's some lads here who can barely pick it up. And unreal. he's just warming up with it. I don't know whether I can make him... That is so heavy, I can't believe that. That's incredible, isn't it? So good. What a fella to be fair. I can't believe 84 mate and he's like he'd run rings around me. Yeah. Absolutely How much energy's he got? He could and do that, this all day as well, couldn't he? That is unreal. The weight in that's incredible. Old Callaway steel at 49 head on it. Thanks. I went to the RNA <laughs> and I said to Brigadier Brickman, oh this is 1955 or something. And I got in a bunker in a big heel mark. And I went and I said, Brigadier, I said, I love the open so much. You know, in America, they've got rakes now. You can rake the bunkers. I said, I'd love to buy the RNA 18 rakes. <laughs> says, get out of my office, you little insolent bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, when you're in a sand, this sand is thick. So obviously, that's stopping your club from moving with any speed. So the one thing you've got to have, when I practice sometimes and I... I look at that hole, I say, the one thing I don't want to be is, I don't want to be short. I want to get the ball past the hole, past the hole, because the big thing is to accelerate. You've got to stand wide, wide as you can. Now, watch how this club accelerates, there. See, past the hole, past the hole. Now, when you've done that a lot of times, you change your strategy. And you practice one decelerating to really feel how terrible it feels. <laughs> no, really, because that's the, that, that's the typical shot of a weekend golfer. Always, always short. So the thing you've got to do, there's several things to help you to get that club, the ball to the hole. Stand wide. You don't want to have your legs doing like that's the spaghetti swing. You stand wide and you don't take your club back the same way as another club. You set your wrist as quick as you can. Watch my wrist, watch my wrist on the back seat. Set it. Can you see me setting it? Can you see the club setting? Watch the club. There. What? Set it immediately. Set it. There. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the first thing you do. Two things. You stand wide. Set the club as quick as you can. Now. Watch my head, watch my head, it's like that putt. You've got to see that club strike the sand. And that business about, they used to say you hit two inches behind the ball, that's baloney. You've got to hit one inch behind the ball. One inch behind the ball. I hope you can remember all these things. Stand wide, cock the wrist, of course you'll go and practice these one at a time. Now, watch this shot. That's the best one I've hit. Oh, oh yeah. Super shot. Because that's one inch behind the ball. But I, I forgot to tell you, when you want to hit the ball high, when you want to hit the ball high, you must strengthen your grip. I'm, I'll give you a lot of things to think about now. There, see that? There, for a high shot. Because now, if you put your grip there, there's not a lot of loft on the club. Now watch when I do this makes the club a lot more loft. If that's, imagine your club face is your hand. If you put it there, there's the club face. If you do that, you shut it. If you do that, you open it. So you want to hit it high, so you put that grip there. Let's see if we can end up with a nice high shot with some. Not good enough. 
Not good enough. Now, watch my hip here. Watch my hip. I'm going to move it forward, but at the same time, it's going to rotate. There. Look at my hip here. Look here. See where it's aiming? Look. Left of the left of the fairway. Left of the fairway. So it's a combination. But what you see, you don't want to start. That'd be very hard for you guys to stand here and say there and then there. So what you do is you make your first move to the left and now watch, watch the finish of the swing, see? And finish, finish with balance. Watch, there. See the balance? Great Look, job. <coughs> Look at my hips, completely rotated. See I'm standing? That feels nice, that way. 